Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Tastemaker. This is a game that I saw on Steam. It was suggested to me, and I thought it looked kind of interesting. It is about building a restaurant and running it, essentially. It's relatively simple. It is a management game. It looks like it has a little bit of a creative flair to it. But it's been a while, at least it feels like it's been a while, since I sat down to a game that I knew absolutely nothing about and just played it. And this looks kind of fun. So I thought we would do that. I thought we would chill. I didn't know that the game had some smooth jazz in the main menu, but I'm feeling very chill immediately. And on a day when I will be honest, I've been feeling a little bit sick. Just this menu and this music alone. I'm vibing, is what I'm gonna say. Anyway, let's go ahead and start a new game. And, I mean, we have some options here. We have a tutorial, we have scenarios, we have sandbox. Let's just do the tutorial. I've, again, I've no idea what this is about, so we might as well. So, use the w WASD keys to pan the camera. I can also use edge panning as well. Q and E will rotate. I can change the game speed in the bottom right corner, which is pretty neat as well. And first, I need to create the exterior of my restaurant. Place the walls and don't forget to add a door. So we have this build menu in the bottom left here, and we have some walls. And I'm getting some Sims vibes right now, and I'm kind of okay with this. So we drag out a wall there, we drag a wall there, we go there, and we go there, and we have a beautiful little interior. Uh, we also need to add some doors. Can I add pathways? I absolutely can. Oh, look at that. Okay. Uh, so we need to add a little door on here as well. I like this one. I, I like that little door with the window on it. That's kind of cute. So what else have we got? Uh, place walls, and don't forget to add a door. Did I have to build this in the entire... Oh, wait, I didn't add the door. Uh, door right there. Okay. So you will need some furniture in your restaurant. Let's start with a bar. Open the item panel and select the bar counter. Okay, I can do that for sure. Uh, so let's take a little bit of a look here. We have bar counter and use the R button to rotate items. Okay, now it's time to create your bar. Open the item panel and place four R counters. You can rotate items by pressing R. Okay, let's just do... I feel like this entire, I feel like I should have taken up the entire lot with the building here, but that's fine. One, two, three, four. And then we need to add four bar stools. So, uh, one, two, three, four. And then decorating. Place some decoration to keep the guests happy. We have a nice plant here, which I'm gonna say can go into that corner right there. And I need a, a cabinet to store my plates. Open the item panel and place a cabinet. I'm feeling like I need to make this place a lot bigger. I'm not gonna lie. Can I go back to build mode real quick? And can I just go walls and... Can I just make this this... Can I just make it the size of the entire lot? I think I can. Um, I've somehow messed up the tutorial is what I've done, but that's fine. How do I demolish walls? Do I just do... Oh, I just do this. Okay, fantastic. So I've built... I've built the exterior. I have ever so slightly messed up the tutorial, but we're not going to worry too much about it. We'll just move these things into uh, where they need to be. And we're, we're just not going to stress about me completely screwing up the tutorial there. So let's move you into uh, that corner. Let's add a nice door to right there. And then in terms of storage, we need to go back to here and we need to get a cabinet for the back corner. Now that you have a place to store the plates, you can order them. So I need to go down here. And I need to order four plates. So one, two, three, four. We need to wait on them getting delivered. Can I click on you? No, but I can see that you're relatively indifferent about the building that has popped up beside you. That's fine. Uh, so there's, I guess, the delivery guy coming on in. And that's fair enough. To cut your potatoes, you will need a cutting board. Place the cutting board on the cabinet. Okay. So, a cutting board needs to go there. And I need a deep fryer as well. Okay, so I can't help but notice that I don't have storage, though. And it is showing storage in the picture. So, I'm going to try and sort of copy the picture. There we go. So, we'll do that sort of thing. 
And now I need to order potatoes. So let's order four boxes of potatoes. And ordering ingredients manually can get a bit repetitive. Use the repeat button to automatically repeat your order after it's delivered. Okay. And I now need an employee. Okay. So we need to just hire a random employee. That's Do I just get to... Oh my god. Oh, this reminds me so much of... Um, oh, what game was it where you could like pick up your... Was it like Theme Park World or something like that? Or I, No, I'm thinking of Theme Hospital, aren't I? Where you could just pick up your people and drag them around like this? Okay, so you live there. Who are you? It's William. Okay. So when the potatoes have arrived, you are ready to put fries on the menu. Open the menu window and add the fries. Okay. So, fries. Add to menu. I don't... I'm not going to change the price right now. That's fine. But I do need a dishwasher. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a dishwasher. Now, I don't really know where I want to put this. I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to just throw it over in that space. That seems fine. And now we need to serve some guests. And we have one. We've got this fella here who wants fries, which is good. William's going to town there, chopping up some potatoes, throwing them in the fryer, going back and managing them. And he's just chilling. He's just walking about. This is kind of chill, man. I like this. I actually like this a lot. It's it's really just quite chill. And I yeah, I just I just like it. Uh, now it looks to me like those fries are done, which they are. So this guy's got some fries, which is going to keep him hopefully very happy. We'll speed things up, and that should make us some money. I like that I've managed to build a restaurant so quickly on just fries. That's great. Uh, new review. Let's see. This restaurant's all right. It's nice and clean, but the decoration could be improved. That's fair enough. Uh, what else have we got? I guess we haven't got much else. Okay. So let's see. Clean plates shortage. Are we, we are using the dishwasher, which is fair enough. I don't really see how we have a shortage. We can only ever serve four people at any one time so you know that's 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 fine by me we'll speed things up a little bit and we'll see what we can do here this this i like this man i gotta be honest i don't i'm just i'm really vibing with this right now i really am uh let's get an old broom and let's just rotate it so it's like that congratulations you've completed the tutorial there's still a lot to be learned but you're now ready to start your own restaurant. Okay. Well, I'm just going to continue. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? What I'm going to, here's what I'm going to do. This, this being the first episode, I, cause I was thinking this was maybe going to be a, a first look, but I can see this being a, maybe a short little let's play series here on the channel. Let's continue with the tutorial, uh, restaurant just for now and just vibe a little bit and see what the game's about and see what we can do. And go from there so i think next in the next episode we'll do uh we'll do something else we'll we'll start a new restaurant and we'll we'll vibe from there i need to stop saying vibe it's getting really obnoxious but that's genuinely where i'm at with this and i'm really liking it um let's see what kind of window are you that's quite a big window let's do quite a big window there and then a couple of small ones on each side maybe so something like that so we have some nice windows there. We do have an ingredient shortage though. So if I go to uh, ingredients. So what else can we do in the menu? So we can make a lot of things. We can make bread. But I, I'll be honest. I kind of just want to serve fries right now. Or like, oh, we could make fries and nuggets. Ooh. Okay, let's do some chicken nuggets, which needs chicken. So let's go to ingredients. And let's turn these off for a second. Let me pause. Let me pause while I figure this out. Um, so let's do like six potatoes. And I need like a fridge or something before I can do that. So that's that's fine. We'll repeat that delivery. If I go to here and I go to... No, sorry. Furniture. And I go to here. I need a fridge, which I think we can afford. So if I throw a fridge into that corner. And then I go to ingredients and I say I want chicken. Let's do, let's do four chicken and four potatoes. Repeat those orders. And then maybe we want another, I don't think we want another employee. 
I don't think we need another employee, but I think I do want more plates. I think that would be pretty good to get a few more plates going. So let's go to the menu. Let's go to nuggets. Let's, we don't have chicken, so we need the chicken to be delivered before we can uh, add it to the menu, but that's fine. So we can do fries and we can do nuggets. And we really need more potatoes. Good Lord. Um, These deliveries are actually kind of taking a minute. So let's go ahead and bring those up a little bit. And I think we're going to need to, uh, we're going to need to look into it a little bit. But there we go. So we got some chicken delivered, I think. And we got some potatoes delivered. So we're doing some fries, which is good. I think we're going to need another fryer too. Okay. Uh, let's get another deep fryer. Let's go to menu. Let's add nuggets to the menu. And we could add chicken as well, but we need wine for that. So that's, that's okay. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. So now we have nuggets in the menu. Can we add anything else to here? So we have old tables and tables and chairs and all that kind of stuff. We have slot machines. We have curtains, which I think will be kind of cool, actually. I like the idea of doing some curtains here. Uh, so let's do one, two, and... You know what? Let's get rid of that middle window. Let's replace that with a slight, with a, the smaller window. So we can do curtains there as well. I like the idea of a little bit of music too. So let's move the broom to be there. And let's add just a little bit of music right in the corner. Oh, and it plays. Oh, the smooth jazz though. Mmm. Oh, I love it. <laughs> genuinely like it man that's great okay so oh there's a decor overlay as well fantastic wow this really is a proper little management game huh okay can i buy so trees and oh my god i can paint i can paint the place different i can do the back wall as a feature wall i can do some nice tiles in the kitchen mm, i like it uh, I can buy land as well, if I really want to, which I'm kind of tempted to do, because we could do like a little kitchen too, but we'll see. Uh, let's just speed things up, because we're serving these nuggets, and we're serving fries, and generally seem to be doing okay with both. We're making a little bit of money. We do have an ingredient shortage again, though. The potatoes are not getting delivered quick enough, so... Ah, I didn't set them to repeat is maybe why. Let's do a delivery of six and six and say repeat. So we'll speed things up a little bit and hopefully that delivery will get here in a good amount of time because everybody else is going to be really annoyed right now. The reviews are okay though. You know, the reviews could definitely be worse. So no complaints from me there. Making a little bit of money still, so that's fine. Delivery should be here soon and i guess while we wait let's see what else we can do so flowers i don't really want to add flowers to the counter where people are going to be sitting so i'll tell you what let's buy a little bit of land right let's just buy this land back here and this land back here and let's go ahead and build some walls. So this is going to be a little room. And I wonder if I was to pause. And I was to say, let's move everything into the back room. Right? So you get your, your fryers back there. You get your storage and it can live there. You get your fridge and it can live next to the storage, which seems like a pretty good place for it. You get your dishwashers and it can live down in the corner. You get your counter with its chopping thing on it, which can go there. We do need a door. And we'll do a staff door, because I think, you know, a staff door kind of makes sense here. So we'll do that. We can move the broom sort of into the corner. And that gives us a little bit more space to play with. And it gives me a little bit more room to put some furniture in here. So I think a couple of cabinets would be would be nice. I'm not a big fan of them not connecting together. I will say that. That's a little frustrating, but that's okay. Uh, I don't think we need an oven. I don't think we need another dishwasher. But maybe a little bit more storage could be nice. So we'll do that right there. And then as for the bar, I mean... 
We could do tables. I don't I don't know if I want bar counters everywhere. But maybe what we do with these, now it's in use, so I can't move it. But maybe what we do is we line this wall back here with some bar counters and go from there. But for right now, this seems nice. That should be that should be pretty good for us, even if it has, you know, if if it is gonna just sort of interrupt the workflow a little bit. A long queue is for me. Add more seats or increase my prices. Oh, if I just add... Right, I didn't know if I just added seats it would do that. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, we could add some regular tables. Although this is definitely more the vibe that we're going for. We don't really want... I don't really want to spend all my money on this. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm not going to lie. I'd really rather not spend all my money on this, but whatever. Oh, someone's complaining about the toilet as well. That's something we're going to need. Okay. That's fine. That's that's okay. We're making we're making a bit of money. We're serving some fries. We are overdue a delivery, which is now here, which is fantastic news. So now we can just keep making everything. So now what I reckon we do is we go ahead and we get ourselves a nice bar... Oh, I can't afford that. Never mind. A little bit more expensive than I thought it was. Um, let me move that chair to that corner. Let me scrap you, which is apparently in use, so I can't do that. Scrap you. And can I kick you? I can't kick you out, can I? That's probably fine. Um, okay. We can very slowly, uh, you know, move you into that space. Move you into, say, that space. Move you up to there move this guy once it's not in use into a different space you know i think i've just realized what this reminds me of and i i mean this in the most complimentary way that i possibly can it reminds me of a game i played on facebook remember when Facebook, like when facebook gaming was a big thing not facebook gaming the streaming platform i mean i mean facebook gaming the 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 like they had like the marketplace not the marketplace whatever it was called they had face games on facebook farmville for god's sake remember when that was a whole thing this reminds me of that a little bit in a good way i i do mean that you know in in a genuinely good way it reminds me of like farmville you know just how chill that could be at times uh anyway i'm noticing williams complaining about a high workload here so I think we can afford another one. We'll get good old David there. And David should be able to uh, lighten the load a little bit on uh, on William there. And we now have a clean plates shortage. I guess this thing can only take five at a time, huh? So if I was to go in and say that we want another dishwasher, if I put it there, that will hopefully help things out a little bit. And I did notice it mentioned that our fridges are full. Now, it doesn't tell me how much the fridges can store. Ooh. I can, I can configure these to only store certain things. That's actually kind of neat. I like that a lot. That's, that's a really cool little feature right there. But anyway, we'll go ahead and speed things up a little bit. And see if we can't maybe make a little bit of money now that we're apparently serving people pretty regularly it seems like you know they're they're coming and going in a reasonable amount of time and it seems like their food is you know getting made in a reasonable amount of time as well even if we are slightly broke up here and even if the general mood is average at best but that's fine i i like this i i am liking this a lot this is exactly the right kind of chill that I needed today. So, okay, can I can I just put random chairs in here? Because I, I don't think I'm gonna go for the $70 chairs. I'm, I'm going to avoid those. But I wonder, can I do a couple of $40 chairs? So if I put a chair there, are you gonna come in and just, is anyone gonna come in and just take a seat? I guess not. Which is fine. That's that's okay. That's not, not a huge deal. It'd be nice if they did. 
but whatever. I think what we can do is probably save up a little bit of money and get ourselves a nice table and put it down in that corner. And hopefully that'll kind of work out for us in that regard as well. You know, there's another delivery coming in. Fridges are full. Do we want another one? It's 150 for uh, a fridge. I'm kind of wondering if we're maybe just not serving enough chicken. Maybe it should be a little bit cheaper. So chicken nuggets are 20 right now. Let's bring those down to like 18 and let's bring the fries up to like 16. Because that seem, you know, we're, we're making some pretty good money off the fries. There's a good number of people coming here for, for the fries. So we'll see how that works out for us. And this queue out the door is definitely, it's great to see, but I would really rather, you know, they were inside eating. Could use some extra toilets. That seems to be the big complaint right now. Okay. I am not too stressed about that. We can absolutely do that. We can absolutely get some toilets in here. Uh, I am really wanting this though. I really want that nice table so that we can get two people sat at the one table at the one time. I think that would be kind of cool. So 149 right now. Give me another dollar, somebody. There we go. So put that right there. And then two people can come in and be seated right at the same table. And that seems pretty good. We probably do need more plates, but that's okay. Uh, we probably do want more chairs as well, but you know, we can... We can do that. There we go. So you've got some fries. You've got some chicken. David's complaining about a high workload. Do we really need another employee right now? That's actually kind of impressive. I'm not going to lie. William's complaining about the high workload. Okay. Can I configure? Oh, I can rename you guys. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Let's hire another employee. So we now have William, David, and Richard working for us. And I imagine they're going to be relatively busy. And I imagine, I mean, so you got your food. You're complaining about not getting your, your chicken. But there we go. It's just, you know, taking a minute for the new employees to kind of get situated. You're waiting on some fries, which are possibly done. There you go. And we do have a little bit of a shortage of clean plates. I'll tell you what we could probably use, though. I'm thinking about it is probably another cutting board because we have these three counters but we only have the one cutting board right now so i think another one of those would probably be really useful to get more of my employees preparing food at any one time and then i think the next thing that we're going to need is going to be a bathroom but i'll tell you what we're going to do we kind of learned how to play the game it's you know not a very long video it's definitely one of the shorter videos here on the channel for uh, a little while but we've kind of learned how to play the game here. So let's go ahead and put a cut in. Let's leave it there for today. And I think what we'll do is in the next episode, we can look at some of the scenarios and then eventually maybe dive into sandbox mode. Because I like the idea of having a goal with this game. That seems kind of fun. I know that might be a little weird sounding given that a lot of what I do is usually more along the lines of um it's usually more along the lines of you know not having goals and being more about sandbox stuff and all that but I'm actually kind of keen to uh I'm actually kind of keen to give it a shot and see what the sandbox stuff is actually like so thanks for watching everybody it's been an absolute pleasure as always. If you're interested in checking this out, I'll put a link in the video description because I'm actually really enjoying this. I didn't think I would. I thought it would be kind of one of those one and done type games, but no, it's really chill. It's really chill and I really like it. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.